The Murphy cabinet comes in a very heavy box. And the first thing you want to do is to turn it upside down like this. This is a two-person job. Now carefully cut through the tape and open the flaps, all four flaps, like this. And with the flaps fully out of the way, turn the box back right side up. Repeat the steps on the top, cutting the tape and folding back all four flaps. Cut the string. It's attached to the hardware box inside. Then lift the box up over the cabinet and lay it on the floor. Carefully cut and remove all of the packing materials. And now make sure the cabinet is facing front. We're going to use the box for some protection, so bring it up to the front, unlatch both latches, then fold down the cabinet face. Find the assembly instructions, pull out the hardware box, and remove the packing materials. And now again, using two people, carefully remove the box with the drawer base unit. This next step is an important step. We need to align the drawer base wheels and levelers, and we're going to use a piece of paper to do that. So if the paper slides under, as it does with the wheel here, then the wheel is not touching the floor. So in this case, you'll need to turn that leveler and retract it a bit. Now use the paper again to make sure both are touching the ground. And then repeat this test on all four corners and align the wheel and the leveler as needed for each corner. And then a final check to make sure the extension moves smoothly, levelers and wheels are all on the ground. If your cabinet is sitting on a thick carpet, you'll need to verify the alignment one more time at the very end, when the cabinet is sitting on the base unit under full weight. Okay, let's assemble the drawer base. You need to latch both sides and then get a soft blanket and lay it down over that box. After all, we're going to put the top of the cabinet on it. Again, this is a two-person job. Carefully turn it onto its top face. Remove the bolts, the Allen key, the dowels from the hardware pack. And these disposable wood blocks need to be removed, all four of them. But before you throw them away, they've got one more job to do. Take a block and tap in the eight dowels. Before lifting the base unit up, let's clear those holes for debris and then lift it carefully. Don't let that extension slide out and flip it upside down onto the cabinet, onto the dowels and set it in place. Get your orientation right. Back of the base unit lines up with the back of the cabinet as you see here. Good time to feed the electric cord through the hole and we can start getting the bolts set. Use the short end of the Allen key to tighten and use the long end to reach those hard to reach bolts. Are you ready? This might be the most awkward part. You need to turn the cabinet on its back and then we actually need to lift it up onto its base. So Deborah here is going to give a little lift while Honey gets her hands under the thing. Deborah gets around, puts her foot in front so it doesn't slide and they lift the thing up together. Oh my god, they're going to make it. They Got it. Nice. And it's a good time to check the wheels and levelers. Give them a final tweak if needed. We're on the home stretch. Let's attach the knobs, get the knobs out of the hardware pack, pull out the extension all the way, unlatch the latches, bring down the cabinet face. There are access holes to drop the screws in through, and just turn the knobs tightly onto the screws. You could use a screwdriver at the back end to hold it tight. And then fix the knobs to the drawer, basically the same thing. Position the cabinet where you want it. Roll the drawer into the cabinet and you are done. Mm -hmm.